Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd. I hope it's allowed to recap where we left off in our dars before Ramadan. The difference between advising and condemning by Imam Ibn Rajib rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatullahi alayhi We were talking about some of the forms of advising, the various ways in which we should advise one another, especially when it comes to advising. This is the way in which Ahlul Sunnah deals with one another. And some of the things that are important that we have to understand with the concept of advising uh, some fawaid or, or benefits uh, Sheikh Salim bin Fawzan Hafidhullah Ta'ala was asked and this shows us really this emphasizes that our minhaj the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah the methodology of Ahl Sunnah is the same as the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah it's one and the same that it does it does not change that there are principles and kawaid when it comes to uh, advising one another, especially advice between uh, Ahl Sunnah, and Imam Fozan was asked about the the concept of. Uh, applying the principles of Jarwa Ta'dil, the principles of criticizing individuals and praising individuals to uh, in, in this day and age. And this is a science uh, which is a science in Hadith, sciences, in which some of our ulama today of Ahl Sunnah, they refer to the criticizing of Ahl Bid'ah and 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 those people who fall into error, they consider that from the science of Jarwa Ta'dil. Where some of our imma, some of our imams of Ahlul Sunnah say, no, it is not exactly the same as the science of Jarwa Ta'dil, but rather that science is reserved to the narrators. And instead it's from the bab of giving advice. Giving advice, meaning when you refute someone, that it is from giving advice. And here's what the Sheikh was asked, O oh, respected Sheikh, who are the scholars of Jarwa Ta'dil in the current time? Or no, uh, Sheikh Salim ibn Bazan uh, was asked, is it possible to apply Jarwa Ta'dil of personalities today in regards to issues of Dawah? So is it uh, applicable to apply the principles of Jarwa Ta'dil related to individuals today regarding their, in, in their methodology in Minhaj and Dawah, which is Commonly, many people speak about these issues, and commonly, people are not qualified to speak about these issues, but they do anyhow. May Allah forgive us. I mean, Jarwa Ta'dil, the Imam responded, Jarwa Ta'dil is in regards to knowledge of the narrations, and it has its men and ulama, and from what we know today, there is no one who has specialty in this affair. This was for the ulama before whom Allah blessed to have knowledge of the narrations and understand hadith. As for today, then there is no one who is specialized in this field. As for an innovator, this is the shahid, if there is a person who is an innovator, then he is refuted so that he be warned against, not due to Jarwa Ta'dil, but out of giving advice, out of giving advice to the people. Naam. So the sheikh responded by showing us that the uh, showing and illustrating for us that this science, which is an Islamic science, the science of criticizing individuals, or the science of, uh, or that this is part of giving advice, and this is what Imam Ibn Rajab was talking about, because you notice all of these principles Imam Ibn Rajab is giving is not necessarily following under talking about the the adul, the the the. the um, the trustworthiness of, of narrators and so forth like this so much, but he is talking more about advice. And that's why the title of the, the treatise is called The Difference Between Advising and Condemning. So difference between backbiting 
and the difference between giving advice. And that's why Imam Fouzan, when he was asked, so he, he, he responded and he said, it is not from Jarwa Ta'dil, but out of giving advice, out of giving advice to the people, that this is sincere advice, which the Prophet ﷺ was talking about, Adina Nasiha, that the religion is sincere advice, that we have to advise people when they make mistakes. Not meaning it's a condition, but this is from advice. This is a, uh, advice to the, to the Ummah. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Adina Nasiha, Adina Nasiha, Adina Nasiha, Khalilimen, Khalilillahi, Wali Kitabi, Wali Wali Rasulihi, Wali Aimmatul Muslimin, Wa Ammatihim. He said that it is uh, sincere advice for Allah, His book, uh, His messengers, or His messenger, uh, for the, for the uh, Imams of the Muslims and the general ed Muslims. And that's the shahid of the hadith, the main point of the mention in that hadith is that it is for, this is from the means of giving advice to the ummah by warning against an individual who has fallen into error or who is from a person of Ahl Bidah or warning against the error that someone from Ahl Sunnah has made while maintaining their status and prestige. And this is what we have been studying with regards to the treaties in Imam uh, Ibn Rajab and he said, if it is understood from someone that he intends with this refutation of the scholars to advise sincerely towards Allah and his messenger, then it is obligatory that he be treated with kindness, respect, and veneration, just as was done by all the Muslim imams whose mention and examples were stated previously, as well as those who followed them in goodness. Uh, and if it is understood from someone that he desires and he, with his refuting of them to defame and slander and expose their faults, then he deserves to be confronted and disciplinary action so that he and his likes uh, will be prevented from these grotesque forbidden actions. So letting us know that it is from uh, Dean and Oseha to uh, advise one another uh, about uh, Bida and Ahl Bida and that there, the importance is uh, very important for us to do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our intention falls into this. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu said, in ma'amal of binyat, verily actions are tied to the intentions. Because if our intention, as Imam Ibn Rajab mentioned, he said, uh, and if it is understood from someone that he desires with his refuting of them to defame, slander, and expose their faults, then he deserves to be confronted with disciplinary action. So letting us know that if a person's intention is not correct, to advise, but rather their intention is just to expose people's faults, just to belittle them, just to uh, uh, refute them and defame them, to tarnish their image, if that's the purpose, then this is blameworthy. And this is the whole main concept of this treatise that we've been studying by Ibn Rajab, is he is bringing those principles and kawa'id, establishing for us the difference between advising and condemning. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil until the next time, uh, our next sitting.